Now that Chrome is installed, let's go ahead and install PHPStorm. And uh, PHPStorm is commercial software, but it's free for student use for one year. So in order to qualify for that, you need to register as a student on JetBrains. They're the people who make PHPStorm. So you can start by going to the student page on JetBrains, and you'll see that there's a link at the bottom to apply now and go ahead and fill in this form so just go ahead and put your name and your email address and it's really important to use the pcc.edu email address here because that's how they're going to verify that you're a student and when you filled that form in just go ahead and click the button and they'll automatically send you an email to confirm if it doesn't arrive after a while be sure to check your spam trap to see whether it got caught there so if you do get your email, it's going to look something like this, and it will have a link to activate your educational license. If you click on that link, it will either take you to a page like this, or it'll take you to a page that asks you to set up an account. If it does ask you to set up an account, just go ahead and register, and then try that link again. Um, but once you're licensed, you should have access to all of this software. And we want PHP Storm, so I'm going to click on that link. And here's the download. And it will take a couple of minutes to download. Okay, great. So that's downloaded now. Um, I have my Chrome set to download to the Downloads folder. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and click this here to run it. And we'll run. Yes. And I'm just going to go ahead and take all the defaults. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and not create a desktop shortcut, but I will associate PHP files with PHPStorm. And I like to show details. Gives me a feeling of progress. Okay, so that's finished. I'm going to go ahead and run PHP Storm. Let's pretend I don't have a previous version. So here's where I can go ahead and uh, log into my JetBrains account. Go ahead and supply the username or email. Hope I got the right password. We'll see. Good, so that worked. I'm going to open up the firewall to allow access. Great, and uh, take the default configuration. I'm licensed for educational use only. And let's just leave this here for now. We'll come back to this when we go to integrate it with XAMPP. So I'm just going to minimize this for now.